Hey, hello, you're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorlick, a few minutes riffing on IT and IT security. Today, looking at change. That when new stuff is more secure, and also when new stuff is less secure. You know, we all like the new toys, right? We want the new phone, we want the new data center, we want the new, you know, whatever technology it is, du jour, or Docker, or whatever. Um, and sometimes compelling arguments can be made that's more secure, but oftentimes, too, it ends up being less secure. So, can we suss out? what practices allow for things to be more or less secure on change. And the tip for you is this, when you're moving to a, the cloud or anything else, when you're adopting new technologies, stop and pause and figure out if the changes in security that people are reporting are because of the change or because of something new. So when would environments be more secure uh, when they are new? Well, it's gonna be stuff like organizations who have built in place security into their their life cycle right we got a new uh, move to the cloud or move to a new data center we evaluate our security controls we value what's in place we make sure that uh, what's in place is going to exist in the new environment we get comfortable and knowledgeable about what's new right what are some of the new features security wise what are the new capabilities um, is there anything that shifts the paradigm and completely it causes us to reevaluate how we're providing access controls and confidentiality? Is there new ways of encrypting? All those sort of things. Any new new thing usually has some ways that change or break the mold of how we're securing. So we want to carry forward the security controls we had in place while implementing and adapting the security controls that are now, of course, possible. Um, how do you screw this up how do you become less secure when there's something new uh, like anything else it's almost always because we're rushing because the timeline's too short because the project team was too stressed uh, because security was an afterthought generally speaking when security fails it's not because um because there is any less secure, it's because the people just didn't do the right thing in the first place. Uh, so, you may have a great argument. Uh, I had I've had a very good conversation all day about whether or not the cloud is is more or less secure. But a better question is: Are cloud environments that are done where security is embedded in the process and they're leveraging the security controls within it more secure than? cloud adoption where people just rush to throw up an S3 bucket uh, and call themselves in the cloud? The answer is yes. <laughs> yes, they are. But that's not intrinsic of the cloud, I would argue. It's intrinsic of the nature of technology and what happens whenever we make a change, specifically a very significant change um, to our underlying uh, capabilities and infrastructure. What about you? What's, uh, what's a good practice for either doing change management right or introducing a whole new problems because we did it wrong. Hit me up in comments or social media. Cheers.